JSON Maker for Simulator Widgets is designed to make it easy to create an exhibit compatible JSON file from one or more Excel spreadsheets of data. It provides an easy interface for the setting up of your data types, properties, and for the conversion of the data itself into an exhibit JSON format. When you first open this spreadsheet in Excel, you'll need to ensure that you have macros enabled. In Excel 2007, a security warning will appear at the top of the screen. Click Options, and then Enable this content. Your data items should be arranged in rows, with the first row of the spreadsheet containing column headers, which will be the property name that describes the data in that particular column. If you wish, you can add value types to each of your properties by separating the property name from your value type with a colon. This spreadsheet allows you to set your value types from the control page, so you don't need to add your value types in this fashion. We will cover this in a moment. You can also add multiple data values to a single cell. You do this by separating each data value with a semicolon. The first step is to select which of your spreadsheets contains your data. Click on to build a list of worksheets, and then type the word true next to each of the spreadsheets that contains your data. The next step is to set up your data properties. Click on Build a list of data columns. This will give you a list of all the properties from your selected spreadsheets. Now here you have a number of controls over these properties. If you do not wish for a particular property to be written to the created JSON file, simply remove the word true from the Include in JSON file column. With this column, you can set each property's value type. If you've already specified the value types in the column headers of your data spreadsheet, like we have, they will be automatically populated. Setting these value types will ensure that your data is formatted correctly when it is written to the JSON file, and it also instructs Exhibit in how to treat your data. There are six property value types, text, number, date, boolean, URL, and item. If you leave this value blank, the value type will default to text. I have provided an additional value type for use with this spreadsheet. If you select text web safe, the value type is printed as text, but the data will be cleaned by replacing unsafe characters, such as pointy brackets, with the HTML Unicode. Also, in both text and text web safe, line breaks in your Excel data are replaced with the HTML code for a line break. I've also provided the options to set a label, reverse label, reverse plural label, grouping label, and a reverse grouping label for each of your data properties. The last step is to set your data types. In this case, the name of the data type is Nobelist, and the plural label is Nobelists. You can then enter a file name, and then click Create JSON File. Now if we go to our newly created JSON file, we can see that all of our data types, properties, and all of our items have been printed correctly in Exhibit JSON format, and they're ready to be used on the web.